Hello again. So in this video, what we're going to do is create a product inquiry application and we're going to do this from scratch. Uh, so first of all, let's go over a few housekeeping items. You can see that I've got Profound.js installed up and running on my desktop. I've also got it installed on my IBM I and we're going to use uh, to be using a Genie session on IBM I. So here's the Genie session. Genie, of course, is our 50 to 50 emulator that renders things in the browser. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And first of all, let's set up the library list. So we'll add Profound UI, Profound JS, and PJS samples to the library list. PJS samples is where I'm going to put my work today. Uh, of course, if you're working on this on your own, you can put your work in, in your own library if you'd like. Um, the next step is let's take a look at the database table that we're going to be working with. So we're going to be working with this table called products P and let's take a look at the data just so that you're familiar with it. We've got things in there like product ID, product name, product description, price, image. So this is the type of uh, information that we're going to create an inquiry application over. Before we actually begin coding, I'm going to use the create PJS or, or the PJS create proxy command and this creates the proxy program I'm going to call it prod INQ I'm going to put it into library PJS samples uh, the proxy program is the object that allows us to call the node.js code from the command line so this is a one-time step once the object is created we can we can begin coding I'm also going to use PJS my IP this allows me to actually do development on my local PC so this is going to redirect the node.js traffic to my PC so I can do development there and of course when I'm done uh, you know when I've tested everything on my PC I can always transfer it to my IBM I machine so now we're set up to do development and the first step in development is to actually create the user interface. So I'm going to switch over to the visual designer and we'll put together the interface very quickly. So I'm not going to worry about um, making things very pretty here. I'm just going to put this together very quickly. So I'm going to start with the layout and we'll give it a heading. So we'll call this product inquiry and we'll put a few fields inside the layout. So we'll have uh, product ID which is a field that we're going to prompt for with a text box and we'll have things like um, description that will actually show once a product ID is entered and we'll also show a few other things so let's pick a few fields to show so let's do price and let's do an image that will show so something like this and then we'll add some buttons and we're pretty much done with designing the interface and now I'll go back and assign values and properties to everything so first of all the screen I'll call it screen one so it's not very creative just need to give that a name and uh, let's go ahead and assign field names so I'm gonna go ahead and name things the same way as they are named in the database file. So same names are going to be used. Note that this name right here is not case sensitive. Uh, when you're using the names in the program, they are going to be used as lowercase. So that's why I prefer to name things lowercase here as well. and the buttons need a response indicator so that the program knows which button was pressed. So we'll call this response indicator submit and for the exit button we'll simply call it exit and so we're now done with designing the user interface and I'll go ahead and save it and let's go ahead and save it in the PJS samples directory I'll call this uh, prod inq.json and we'll go ahead and save. So the screen has been put together so now it's time to put together the actual application code and we'll start out with uh, just an editor here and we'll put in uh, the basic code to start any application so I'm going to create a function and I'm going to export it as a runnable function. That's the setup for any application and then let's go ahead and go inside the function and we'll I uh, use PJS define display and we'll 
give this an object name of just display and of course the display that we're working with is prod inq.json so that creates the display and this uh, also uh, now gives us access to the display object and everything underneath it so we created something called screen one and if we wanted to execute the screen this would be the line of code that does it now we want to keep executing the screen until the user uh, clicks exit so I'm going to go ahead and add while we haven't exited so that's a very typical setup for how things are done okay so now let's go ahead and save the application We'll call this prod inq.js. This is a JavaScript file. And we haven't finished coding everything, but we can now go ahead and try it. So we'll just go ahead and call prod inq and see that what that looks like. So that comes up with a screen. Of course, the logic is not there yet, but this allows us to you know, type something in, click submit, uh, and click exit to exit out of the application. So that much of it works. So let's go ahead and add some of the functionality now. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to the screen designer and go out to the product ID field. And I'm going to go to a set of properties called autocomplete. So database driven autocomplete is what we're going to do. And we're going to type in the database file where the data is coming from, product P. And then for the options field, it's going to be PRID. You can actually type in multiple fields here. So I'm going to show PRID and PR name. So this is going to show the product ID and the name. So you can go ahead and click save and then try the application again. And what you'll see is that as I type in uh, a product, it auto completes. So I can just type in the first few characters of the product and you can see the names of the product ID in this case, and you see both the ID and the name. So this is just an easy way to select the product IDs. Now let's go in, uh, go back to the code and type in some code that will allow us to actually look up the information in the products file. So we're first, we're going to use record level access for this. And the first step is to define the table the table is products p and then we'll give it some properties this is something that we're going to be able to read and this is a keyed file so these are the two properties that we'll assign uh, to this definition so now that we have that we should be able to go in here and refer to products p as an object that has a number of methods so the method that we're going to use is called get record that kind of chains out to the file and grabs information by its key and the key in this case is product ID so we'll go ahead and click save here and let's exit and try the application again so we'll select an image click submit and as you can see it pulls up automatically the description the price and the image of this application let's just try another uh, record here and you can see that this is functioning properly and pulls up all the records that we want so there you have it this is how you create a simple product inquiry application from scratch mm -hmm.